Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Stealth and Soak Arts. Today's question is, what's something you do now that your future self would be proud of? Um, right now, business-wise, I'm reorienting myself and seeing what I want to be doing. I'm very much torn between, uh, I'll just go the, the safe route, get a job, get a paycheck, uh, and do whatever the hell they tell you to do. Don't think as much, uh, don't worry about the finances uh you'll have a stable i'm not gonna say necessarily easy uh week but it's pretty straightforward the other side is saying no um you always see what organizations can do better what people can do better how behavior can be changed for the better and how organizations can benefit from that and at the moment i'm sort of giving myself time to figure out what i want to do um, that's something at the moment I am proud of, and I think that in the future I'll also be proud of it. Of course, at the same time, I might argue, yeah, well, this is taking way too long. Uh, if you didn't do that back in the day, then right now you would have had this career path, or you would have been able to do this, that, and the other. Um, at the moment, though, it feels like it's the better thing to do, because uh, it feels like it's going to work out anyway. I have various uh, very useful skills and I just have to find the right application for them. So for uh, next week for Tuesday, I signed up for a class to figure out what the, what do they call it? Um, the 12 entrepreneur profiles are. This is something that one of the uh, business coaches worked out and her style of communication always very much appeals to me. So I'm just gonna go there as uh, information gathering. What is it that she thinks about people especially since her skill is figuring out what you are best at because most people just they don't see that for themselves i mean something that you're very good at you usually don't even notice because something just goes effortless effortlessly english um and that's the whole thing it goes effortlessly so you don't even wonder hey uh why can't the guy next door do the same thing just as easily as I can? Why can't my friends do this same thing as easily as I can? Only when you start to review their behavior or their progress or whatever it is, then you go and, huh, maybe that is a strength of mine. So um, for me, something that my future self would be proud of, I'd say um, orienting myself and giving myself time to figure out what I want. And well, I suppose the YouTube channel. So this one is another one. Uh, started out as uh, <laughs> a way to break the boredom for five years ago. Uh, and here we are, 20,000 strong. So yeah, that's something else that I probably would be proud of. And over time, a lot of people have come up to me through comments or personal messages and said, hey, um, you, might not you might not realize it, you might not recognize it, but you do really have an impact on people. Uh, I watch your videos to relax. I watch your videos to just... Uh, unwind after work, I watch them in my lunch break, I watch them before I go to school, whatever it is, um, that is something, this semi-unaware touch that I seem to have on people, uh, this semi-unaware impact of mine, that I think I could also be proud of. Uh, I'm probably more so in 10 years from now than right now. Anyway, um, that's my answer. What's yours? What do you think your future self would be proud of? And I know the easiest thing might be to go for, eh, uh, there's not really anything that I'm proud of currently, let alone what my future self would be proud of. Try to sidestep it. Um, maybe rephrase it or reframe it in a way that you think, okay, what is it that uh, my friend is doing right now that I would be proud of in 10 years? Or uh, what do you think that your friend would be proud of about you for what you're doing right now? and that you're not realized yet. Maybe asking the question like that would be a little easier because as it stands, um, this is a pretty tricky question. And of course, it's meant to be, it's a so card. It's meant to uh, invoke conversation. Anyway, long-winded uh, ending of the video. Let me know what you are proud of for you right now. And I look forward to hearing from you down below in the comments. See you next week.